Good morning. It is indeed my pleasure to be part of today's event, launching this uh, new initiative called Prophecy.io. Let me also take this opportunity to congratulate SRW and company for taking the lead in this initiative. Against the backdrop of increasing digitalization in ASEAN, Prophecy.io is indeed a welcome initiative for promoting people management system and designing a competency-based assessment using digital technologies such as artificial intelligence. Thus, today's event is indeed very timely and relevant given the increasing importance of digital technologies in the region today. During this pandemic, digital connectivity has become an important priority for the region. Evidence suggests, for example, how the use of different digital technologies during this pandemic has actually enabled many countries in ASEAN to reach new markets and unleash productivity improvements in the way people interact with each other and businesses operate. I also believe that digital connectivity has become an important lifeline during this pandemic. And I think moving forward, the opportunities being provided by digital technologies need to be captured as well as we try to develop or establish a resilient and inclusive recovery from this pandemic. While digitalization has been high on ASEAN agenda in recent years, there is still an urgency to further accelerate digitalization in ASEAN in order to ensure that digital technologies will have long lasting impact even beyond this COVID-19 pandemic. For example, Within the region, our priority at the moment is how to recover from this pandemic. Therefore, the ability to do that in our view would require tremendous use of digital transformation in the region in order to ensure that the region is able to facilitate much better the recovery from this pandemic. Under the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework, new initiatives on digitalization are expected to be implemented this year and in the coming years. Aside from investing on digital infrastructure and innovation, for example, the region will be also looking at how to address the critical needs of the digital economy, including, for example, the need to leverage on technologies to strengthen supply chain connectivity, upscaling of small enterprises, enhancing e-governance, encouraging innovative startups, as well as strengthening a cybersecurity and digital data governance. While these initiatives are currently being implemented in the region, there is a need for more intensified efforts to ensure that these initiatives are being implemented well and more effectively. Thus, I really would like to encourage the different stakeholders in the region, including the private sector and academic institutions, to work closely with ASEAN in pursuing some of these strategies in order to facilitate the recovery from this pandemic. In this regard, I also very much welcome this new initiative, Prophecy.io, because of its effort towards the development of talent base and human capital in the region in a digital era. I always believe that skills development is integral in a well-functioning digital economy Therefore, the ability to make use of digital technologies to develop human capital and talent will be very crucial. For example, within ASEAN, our commitment to skills development, or in particular, digital skills development, has remained strong over the years. Uh, last month, our ICT ministers have adopted a new master plan, the ASEAN Digital Master Plan 2025, and an integral part of that master plan is the development of digital skills in the region. In addition to that, the region has implemented over the years a number of initiatives that promote digital skills development. For example, we have the ASEAN uh, Science Data Explorers Program that tried to uh, train a number of uh, youth in the region in terms of promoting digital skills development in ASEAN. We also have this ASEAN uh, Digital Innovation Program that is also intended to further promote digital skills uh, development among the underprivileged youth in ASEAN.
I'm glad that uh, SRW and company shares the same commitment to human development in a digital era. In this regard, I really would like to commend the launching of this new initiative called Prophecy.io. Like SRW and company, ASEAN stands ready in the development of talents in the region, including the development of new leaders, as we try to embrace the opportunities and challenges of the fourth industrial revolution. With these words, let me again congratulate SRW and company for the launching of today's event, and indeed also for a successful implementation of this new initiative called Prophecy.io. Thank you very much.